Okay guys, I'm back again. This is part two. Here we are in daylight as you can see. So to see things a bit better. Better close up of my uh, grenade, the antenna and bridge rectifier again. The capacitor that we will be using for charging purposes my meter just connect to the positive and negative rail and some bulbs uh, we're going to use a 7 watt, 25 watt and 15 watt bulb my casher as you can see and the negative rail, the emitter onto the negative side of the bridge rectifier the same power supply Okay, <clears throat> we'll be turning it on. We're about uh, around that range again. You see, yeah. Now, what we're going to do is connect the um will be connecting the capacitor to it and see what it does all right the cap is connected as you can see place those two leads a bit closer to each other but um, I'll have to avoid uh, massive shorting afterwards it's, it's going to be a loud bang anyway um, some setup, the two grenade lines come from the grenade ok, when I turn it on start to see see it's on DC alright don't turn it on right now uh, it's charging the capacitor. It looks like to be almost the limit of the charge. Uh, what happens if I connect a 50 watt bulb to it? Beautiful. Charges again. See, every time I connect it again, I'll discharge so much. Now, just imagine having a, a MOSFET or a T-Rister in series with the wiring of, with the cap, with, uh, with a coil connect to a transformer such as this is a um, ah, can barely let the camera see it well IRFP 450 is what I have right now but let's put it this way I'm connecting this in between it and then with a coil and then with a, with a circuit such as this to pulse it, to pulse that 300 or almost so much voltage that's being produced by the radiant energy uh, onto the grenade being rectified. So keeping that amount of energy being pulsed and with the capacitor, so the capacitor uh, creates the massive load also, it contains it. and. Um, it should be usable power. I think this is the method where Vasmos is also being implementing and um, Rosen's latest uh, device, as we know. So, um, as you can see, okay, this is a, a microwave bulb, 25 watts. And this charged it on 400 volts. 
I'll just discharge the capacitor right now with uh yeah that's a lot bang huh and this thing can kill you that's for sure <laughs> Cap the voltage. All right, guys. See, it's um, discharge. So every discharge, and then speed up that discharge with with a circuitry like this, or like a nano pulsar, you know, like how Dali used to um, use. So both this and um, Casher circuit on 12 volts or 24, I don't know. And um, these two leads connected to the positive or the negative rail. Not so sure about that one, but um, this is just perfect for impulses. Just the pulse that 300 or 400 something volts that will go through the system. Thinking add some more of them in parallel to increase the capacitance, the more charge. I don't know. Maybe in series to increase the voltage, just what I've seen in the latest of Ruslan. So there's some testings to go through. Right, if I turn off the system, light us off. The load is going down. The charge, sorry. Let's discharge it completely. Yeah back to zero found this cap on a motor so um, that's some thoughts about that oh, by the way um, it won't charge if you use if you don't connect the emitter side of the cacher so basically the ground and to connect the ground also right there all right um, will be the connecting the capacitor so I have many other capacitors here like this one these okay casher straightly connected to the antenna as you can see there's absolutely nothing inside only wiring and um, this is how I tune the casher but at the distance it's at it's good it's good to go okay one more demonstration with some outputs okay turn it on we're on 220 something just like last night Fun part is discharging it will bring it off the scale. <laughs> so anyway, some weird stuff. Okay, this is straight from the grenade line. Sorry, 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 sorry. If I connect to a positive or negative rail, it's not really working. See? But if I connect both of them, let me see. Yeah. That's being consumed, so as you can see. So this voltage, this DC voltage needs to be pulsed and when it's pulsed then it can keep a massive charge in the capacitor and yeah, could be able to put on a Stelion transformer and to uh, the PSU. Okay guys. Anyway guys. I'm guessing I'll be cutting out this this one for now. So leave comments. I'll be putting this to work very soon. 
all right so we'll be pulsing the system maybe I'll have to build another one so let's see how that goes it's a simple 555 right there used to uh, fool around with these back then but um thought of reusing it otherwise I have to use the IR2153 or the TL494 let's see what these things do alright guys hope you guys had some fun okay this is a part bonus uh, connected this one I have really no idea what value it is but um, it charges up to 413 also <laughs> but um, to show you how I discharge the bulb every impulse see that Tap. now do that very fast with faster frequency right then you should have a bright light constantly on a high power which is stored in the capacitor right but what happens when I discharge it for just a moment <laughs> charges fast alright there's